What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back on the Double E Show. It's Felon Fridays with Prison Architect. When I left off the last time, I put in the new administration building. We laid the uh, water pump station, uh, mapped out a cleaning cupboard, uh, bathrooms, kitchen, staff rooms done. Yeah, we were just uh, kind of working over here in uh, Block 4. And uh, I had mentioned I want to put in the holding cell. Um, that way we have uh, a holding cell in place, grant completed type thing. And uh, we're going to start laying out kitchens and canteens and where I need them to be in each cell block, or in each uh, prison block. And I think I'm going to do the, uh, the kitchens uh, all together in these four corners. So that way the, the kitchens are accessible quickly by the main road. And then the canteens can be down below them and above them up here uh, for access for the prisoners. Yeah, but in the meantime, let's plan off that uh, that holding cell. So we're going to go in here to planning. Uh, go to objects. So here we know this is the the access that I have to um, the administration building. I've got visitation here. I have an entrance here for the prisoners. I have an entrance here for the uh, prisoners into um, parole. So we know we're going to have them coming down this way. But I think what I'd like to do too, real quick, is I'm going to wall off this area right here and here so this area here is prison accessible and this area in here is not yeah yeah so I think I'm gonna put in whoops uh, objects I think I'm gonna put in a couple of doors here a couple of doors here and then this will all be like grass and things like that to make the uh, the administration side purtier. Yeah. All right. So come back into objects. So we know that we're going to have the holding cell in here. And the holding cell needs a bench and a toilet. We're going to give it a little bit more than that. We're going to go uh, one bench. Two bench, bookshelf probably. I'm gonna go one, two, three. So right here we're gonna go a bunk, bunk. Yeah, so we can do that. A bunk, a bunk, and a bunk. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. Right on. And then we're gonna go. Uh, Let's see, how do I want to do this? Toilet. Toilet. Yeah, we're just going to go a row of toilets. Right? So now if we do a wall and a wall. Hmm. Can I actually have doors here and a big jail door there and that way they have access yeah so I've got wasted space over here so why don't I do this <laughs> make this bigger make that bigger I'll take this out we're going to go bunk, 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 bunk. So that's two, four, six, eight. That's fine. And then we go four and four. And again, the bookshelf. We've got this area in the center. Uh, let's put that object in there. So these are a row of toilets. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything in the center. I might not. 
Right on. Okay. So we'll do that. And we got that. Now, that's the... That's the, uh, the holding cell. Right on. Okay. Let's come over here, and we're going to plan out kitchens. Now, kitchens are going to be interesting. I'm just going to have the guard tower entrances like that. Kitchens are going to be interesting. I'm going to utilize the space over here in the corner. I want them to deliver the goods through there. So, one, two... Like that. So, it's going to be two, four, six, eight. That's four cookers, right? We're going to have one, two sinks. We're going to have fridge fridge, because it's one fridge per two cookers, so one, yeah, so there's our fridges, yeah, and there you go, and that's kitchen, so we can actually put a, a waste bin in there, alright, we'll put in, um, that's five, right? do it like this, and I go five and five. That's two serving tables. They serve 20 apiece, so that's 40. So I could serve 40 prisoners at once. I'll take that out. Put the door for the kitchen in there, and I'll put two bins there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's for 40 prisoners right on. Okay, now, let's look at how we want to lay out the tables. So, one, two, okay, three by four. Do I need that much space? I don't. Three by four. Three by four. 3 by 4, that's uh, 32. And suppose we can go 3 by 4 and 3 by 4. Then over here we can have phone booths. something up there. So, how would they access this? They would probably come in and go right there. Nope. Go there and there. Nope. Go like this. Let me go objects. There and there. Yeah. And that way we can have uh, metal detectors. So they'll come in at the top, they'll get their food, they'll come down here and eat, and they'll exit back out the top. Right? Right. I'll even put in... No, I won't put it in down there because I can't put in metal detectors. So there you go. So there's, there's a canteen. Right, so if I make all of those those spots, we know that's where the entrance to the canteen is going to be. Where do I want the guards to enter? Guards will enter from the side street. Right, right, okay. So, I know we're going to do that. Let's, uh, let's go walls, so from the end it's 10... 10, from the corner it's 6, 6, 22, 
two, and over. Okay. So now we know it's going to be objects. So that's ten. Like that. Like that. like that so there's your entrance in there yeah and then we just clone clone the tables put it all in right right okay we're gonna basically do the same thing here huh? so seven from the wall right so that's eight Eight. Right. Then we come across there. Six. Six. Like that. This is 22, like that, there, there's our objects, right, right, and right. And then lastly, Nope. Like that. There we go. And like that. Objects. Like that. And like that. And that's not right. <laughs> I'll go right across to there. There we go. And that's right. There's our canteens. There's our kitchens. For each, uh, for each block. Right on. Yeah. I know it's a little tedious to watch. And uh, I think what I'll do is in here I'll put in... Uh, I'll, I'll add on to the administration side here. I'll put in the uh, the uh, armed guards and dogs uh, down below the administration center here. And then I'll put in armed guards and dogs here, armed guards and dogs at the end of this, and armed guards and dogs over here. And we'll have uh, we'll have them in, in each block. I, I think that'll work best. Uh, so that the, they don't have to travel as far to get to their their job. Hopefully they'll they'll you know stay within their area. So I'll do armed guards, dogs. I'll do staff room, security room in each one. Same thing. Uh, armed guards, dog, staff room, security room. Uh, each one will have uh, CCTV and door control uh, and things of that nature in each block. Uh, we're going to utilize as much power out of these power blocks as we possibly can. That is for sure. Um, but each one will have it separate, so that'll work. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's good. So if you have any suggestions as to what we should be doing here in Four Corner State Penitentiary, put them in the comments below because I do read them. So tell your family, tell your friends. If you, uh, if you could, hit that like and subscribe button. helps me out. And I will catch you next Friday for another episode of Felon Fridays! Prison Architect. Peace! That was a failure of epic proportions. Unacceptable.